after sketch upload, the USB cable must be disconnected. Then switch on Glibo C6 power by batteries. This is because the USB line cannot supply enough power to drive the two motors. In any example involving the DC motors, Clibo C6 must be supplied by batteries rather than USB cable. Since the high current drain of the motor, the six AAA batteries must be using alkaline battery, such as Duracell alkaline, GP Ultra alkaline, and so on. Please be noted that all experiments involving motors will heavily consume batteries. In general, six new AAA batteries can go below the power requirement after continuous operation on motors for 15 minutes. So replacing battery regularly when running on motor experiments. Otherwise, Clibo C6 can be very abnormal or malfunctioned. This example demonstrates the three operations to the DC motor, which are forward rotation, reverse rotation, and brake. The LCD indicates the three states simultaneously. Lie down Clibo C6. It will move forward and then backwards. At the beginning of the sketch, the LCD, speaker, and LED are declared. Another six declarations are for the six input ports on the DC motor driver, which are set to output mode. After LCD initialization, three functions in loop function continuously operate the two motors. In the forward function, both enable ports are set to high. Two motor pins are given opposite states. The polarity on the two motor pins reversed in the backward function. We can see that the forward function drives Clibo C6 moving forward but the backward function drives it moving backward. The brake function simply set both motor pins to stop the rotation. In each operation, indication is called to update the LCD. During for all, the LCD filled with red and the blue word for word. During backward, blue background with the red word backward. During break, black background with red stop. The speaker gives various notes in the three operations. <laughs> 